morning guys welcome to today it is windy and gorgeous out here supposed to be a heat wave but there's a breeze there's a breeze and it feels glorious which is a good thing because my kids got new hoodies yesterday in preparation for the fall and they're wearing them today here I'll take my own um but when I go to catch Gracie since I catch Bill first I put this like this and tell Willow to stand <laughs> All right. I love this color. Yeah, so Sophie's got, you got, Sophie, I locked the door. You're going to have to go in and get changed to go to the barn. No. You're wearing that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Kids are crazy. Hi, Penny. She's so uh, affectionate today. I hate when they put the halter on and don't do it up. Whoa, she just tooted. Door. Door. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's video. I wanted to shoot a Q&A today and then got distracted. Distracted with homeschool. I <laughs> just, our girls know so much. Like, they know what's happening. Thanks, Pen. Thanks, sweet girl. Oh, I know. Bringing them in off the grass, they're always so affectionate. Oh, you got a knot. It's actually a braid. All right. Fairy it's a fairy knot. Fairy saddle. Oh no. Because see, the fairies. It's from all the weeds. No. The fairies, <laughs> what? What do you want? The fairies sit right here. Yeah, the fairies sit right there and then they ride the horses in oh, the night. Not. Yeah, all right, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back to braid that. You cool down. Look They're pretty warm from the ears. sun. Look at your cute little ears. Yeah, you have cute little ears. Gracie's having a big drink. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We are headed to the barn for reasons and that are insane. Out. That moment that you're headed out in the car and you realize you really should have went to the, you should really should have went pee before you left, but you're like, ah, I can hack it. And then suddenly uh, you're in the car and you're like, oh man, I wish I had a peed. So welcome to show prep, you guys. It's show prep. We haven't done show prep in so long. It feels like, it feels like been such a bizarre summer. All right, look who we have. Mr. Just, Chubby just, McFluffy. Just what? what? No, oh, yeah, he he's, stopped the boozy Yeah, hi. Oh, I know. We didn't come this week because no, they had camp. The head where you put oh, no, back. he's Thank so you. careful. He's so careful. Oh. Looking so much bigger. Looking good, Chance. He's looking so good, you guys. I don't like how dirty he is. And the muscles in your leg, even though you didn't get ridden this week. But look at wait, you can still see those ribs. Tall horses, I swear, are harder to gain weight because there's so much more real estate to thoroughbred. I know. Thoroughbreds are always hard. I know, but he's except like for they're a pig, except for when they're a pig. So we just recently uh upgraded his increased something in his diet and Clearly it's making a difference because he stepped up another step. <laughs> Hi. Do you guys remember when we got Chino and he was really skinny? And then I like, oh man, I worked so hard. I was so stressed out about him. Like we were trying new things every other month it seemed like and just had so much going on. I made like bags of their food and had like so many instructions and so much stuff and then he hard, he really never gained weight like took him a, a long time and then we brought him home and by the end of the summer he filled out nicely on the grass like it's so true it took us almost exactly a year for him to gain weight almost a year it's what so knotted his tail is knotted yeah I came, I went to the bathroom and I came back. Can you stop? I came back and it smells so nice in here. So he's got all her stuff out, giving him a manicure. He looks good. I love horse that has a really thick tail, not just skin. Yeah, no more thoroughbreds for us. Yeah, or tall horses. Or thoroughbred types. And no quarter horse types. No thoroughbreds, no quarter horses. Did you know they're like the worst with their feet? Yes, quarter horses. No way. Yes. I know, you had a pony, which is different. It's your bum. Hello. Hello. It's so hot. Look how long his hair is getting though. All the horses are in the shelter today. No more knots 
No, we're not. He loves being groomed. Such a pretty boy. Wow, that is gorgeous. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's even like slimy. Slobbering. All right, Chancy Pants. So for any of you guys that are wondering, we have Chance to still our lease. We paid for him. He's still ours to play with, spend time with. We still provide his food. And then once our lease ends, uh, he'll go back to Brandon. And then um, I don't know what will happen, but Gabby might ride him a few times between now and then in lessons. He's like, oh, Gabby. He likes Gabby. Before he didn't remember. Yeah. He's a good boy though, such a good boy. I noticed like a lot of weight gain up in here. There's some jello, there's some jiggle to his wiggle. <laughs> He's like, do that, he likes it. This this boy actually likes to be massaged, he likes to be touched. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little tiny bit, a little tiny layer attaching itself to this boy's butt. He definitely needs muscle though, lots of muscle. Sophie did such a good job in his tail. Yeah, looks no, really. stunning. Look at it's like auburn and black. I don't like his tail. I love his tail. We met a subscriber yesterday who had red hair, and her hair was like the most gorgeous shade of red. Yeah, it was lighter than this. Yeah, lighter than this, but this is so nice too. Like I love it with the black. Well, the black is in the middle. Yeah, he did a good it's job in his tail. It's just the orange on the outline. So we're not riding chance today at all while he smells the poo. He's just walking around, smelling poo. <laughs> you gonna roll? He looks like Bambi. His big long legs. I'm just thin. He's like, oh, I know you. You separated me from my boy, Chino. So there have been, uh, like we were gonna shoot a Q&A today, but then we got busy. Like I said, I have been cleaning out all of our homeschool stuff. Like I've been getting all of our homeschool stuff set up so that when our new curriculum comes in. You know what's really weird though? I was just thinking about. <laughs> I was just thinking about how like people are never patient in social media people are not patient I've noticed that long 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 ago like people want the beginning and the middle and the end all in one video and life is just such a big journey that you can't always get that like like with Chino like I said before he was so skinny and so under muscled and had like a completely flat neck and it took us a year to get him where he needed to go. Yeah, or even overweight. Like we struggled a lot with Stella. It took us a long time to get her to lose weight and she did so good and she got there. Like if we've been, we've, we've gotten really good at weight gain and weight loss in horses and I'm proud of that, but. Stella also looked fatter because she had wider ribs. Yeah, anyways, I am proud of it. I'm proud of all the stuff we poured into yep. this boy to help him. He's tall and he's young and he's falling asleep. a thoroughbred falling asleep while we rub him. He comes over, he's like, rub me! And then he falls asleep. You know, you love to be touched, don't you? He's, he's literally the sweetest boy. Look at that neck. <laughs> Anyways. He liked that. I even kind of like the process of it. Like I like seeing a difference that you make in the life of a horse. I He's gonna take the wheelbarrow to clean Process, it. like I love seeing this guy a little bit Look more, a little bit him. more Look each him. time. <laughs> you taking out the poop? Yeah. I love to see him play too. That's him playing. Yeah, that's him playing. He's just like, oh, rub me. <laughs> He's actually pushing it. <laughs> You're taking the poop for a spin? Imagine you had a baby in a stroller. He could pull it, push it for you. <laughs> I would not trust him, but... <laughs> Poof, the wagon's up. Look, it's where he's lifting it up. <laughs> oh, good boy. I can't wait till he drops it and spooks himself. Don't spook yourself. <laughs> he's gonna drop it. I know. Oh, look, he just puts it down. What a, what a good horse. Oh, <laughs> oh he can't see. <laughs> You're so cute. I want him to 
I also like picking chestnuts. I do not know why. I know it's gross and it stinks. No dog that we have but I like like cleaning horses and like I like the taking care of them. I like the riding. Sophie likes the riding. And I don't like the getting thrown off. And she doesn't like falling off. <laughs> James is falling asleep. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I know. The horse. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. I'm picking his chestnut. And he's like, <laughs> his head against the wall. Just sitting there. Oh, you're such a good boy. Do you guys remember when I used to like massage? I used to be the one that used to brush Storm. I used to massage him and, and rub his neck, which is like totally his favorite thing. And he like, <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> he's so cute. I used to do that for Storm. And Storm used to love me for it. And then Chance is kind of the same. <laughs> Sophie's trying to see what songs he likes. <laughs> Please just rub me. Let me I eat your phone. <laughs> Is that the song? Oh, he's trying to eat. <laughs> I want my own cell phone. Yeah, you like that song? She's doing a TikTok of him picking up the wheelbarrow and she's letting him choose the song. Let's see if he follows me. Let's see. Oh, you guys, that's all it takes. Chance's drug of choice is being massaged. Oh, he's going for the hay. Betcha. Betcha he's going for the hay. <laughs> he has such a weird body though. Don't you think he has a weird body? Like he's got this pot belly. He's like, you know, really, I don't know how to. I know, but not all thoroughbreds have the same. He's like, what's in here? I'm bored. My favorite thing is literally just sitting in a room with a horse. I love him. They always bring on the lonely, but with you here, nothing can scare me. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to love, not afraid to love. You, 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 not afraid to grass. All right, so uh, we're confused. <laughs> we're confused. We've never ridden other people's horses, not for years, not at this barn, about what we're supposed to do for show prep. But basically, we're taking all the tack home and we're going to clean it at home. And uh, Sophie's going to wash the, her horse and Gabby's going to clean her horse. And then apparently we don't have to braid. That's what I like about Wait, schooling we don't have shows. To braid? No, we don't have to braid. No. Like, I think it's really good for our kids to braid. So I love like the traditional thing of braiding and, and looking all professional. And I think that it's so good for our kids. But then I get torn because I also need them to go to bed at a normal time. And braiding literally takes us about six hours. Six hours, especially on a horse like, like Denver that has a ton of hair. So if we can get started like super early, then that's great. But if we can't, like we're supposed to wait till three and everybody comes together and we kind of get everything done. So I don't know. I don't know. I definitely don't think we're probably gonna end up braiding. I like braiding. We just got home and I stopped to get some groceries uh, for our trip tomorrow for our horse show. I'm gonna show you guys though. Look at these grapes. Aren't they the coolest looking grapes? We ate half of a bag. Half of a bag on our way home. The smaller the grape, the sweeter it is. And they're called sweet sapphire. They're so good. Our favorite thing to do of life is to clean our tack and watch TV. Not me. I don't like cleaning tack. I, I like love tack. cleaning tack. It's my favorite thing, you guys. But you also like cleaning. But it's literally cleaning. been a month that we haven't gone to a show. And already, I'm like, wait, what do we need? What do we have to bring? Fly spray today. No, but we should bring our fly spray for sure. Oh, that was such a good call, Sophia. We always have to wake up extra early to go to shows because we have like dogs to take care of, chickens to feed, horses to take care of at home before we can go. All right, we are missing some stuff. See, this is why I need like one big bucket that I can carry everywhere because right now we have stuff everywhere. Oh, what's in there? You're gonna bring show sheen. What did you want to bring? Spot remover? Yeah. All right, this is what we have, Miracle Groom. That's one of this our- This is handy dandy for your palminos, like I love, obviously, yeah. you guys. Super handy dandy. Hey, All right, hey. we got it. 
oops, we got it all together. We're just gonna pack our truck with this. Our barn is bringing the horses. Oh, Gabby finally shows up. You Gabby has the luck. Her, her, her. Gabby has the luck to show up at the last second. Don't you know that you're beautiful?